Welcome to Ultimate General Civil War on Legendary Difficulty. I have $157,000. Here are the career points. And I have 22 three-star infantry at 2,500 men each. Here's the officer pool. It just goes on and on and on and on. Huge number of officers. Here's the armory. Enormous number of weapons. Um, everybody has 55s except for my brand new one-star units, which only have... Or everyone has uh, Harper's Ferries except for my brand new one-star units, uh, which have 55s. And you can see I still have tons of weapons in inventory. I have about a million dollars in stuff that I could sell, but I don't need to sell because I have plenty of cash and I'm about to get a lot more. So... Yeah, 22 three-star infantry. And what I did was I took the guys who were close from the last battle and I merged them in with my three-star infantry. Look at all these three-star artillery. But I still have a bunch of one-stars. So um, I have a bunch of three-star generals. So all my core division commanders are three-stars. I thought about moving... General Something Compass and Albert Sidney Johnson out because they don't get any XP. Their command line doesn't do anything um, because they're maxed out, but I didn't bother. Yeah, these are good units. Bunch of... Uh, one unit has 63s, couple 61s, CS Richmonds. Um... The Whitworths, of course, are 100 and everything except Melee. And then you get down to 4th Division, and these are Harper's Ferries, and then two more Snipers. And I have these guys uh, perked for greater range, and the Whitworths, without the scopes, I have them perked for greater stealth. And it works. It, I, I get exactly the result that I want. You can only bring 15 units, but I have... Here are the Whitworths that sit out this day. These, these, some of these guys will be swapped in, of course, for day two, and well, day three doesn't happen, as you'll see. Um, yeah, I'm only bringing one twenty-pound parrot, and I'll bring the other two to the next day. And these are my green troops. And they have 1855s. So that's the army. 22. Three-star infantry. Everybody's filled up on ammo. Yeah, we're in great shape. The army is in absolutely great shape. So... A hundred and six thousand three hundred and thirty six and fourteen guns. Okay, I have watched Hi Bob cross the water. I'm going to show you how I struggle with this. He makes it look easy. I don't know how he does it. Um, I just struggle and struggle and struggle. So he has some kind of a magic formula. He's He's got a magic button on his computer. I, I don't know how he does it. Look how I struggle with this. So... Yeah, the... Um, these three-star units hit really hard. I mean, they're really good units, and they hit just insanely hard. Um, the 20-pound parrots with, you know, three perks is going to kill that guy 
I mean, look how he's just knocking him down. It's just a matter of time. So all they have to do is get across the water. So I'm sending two guys to the right, two guys to the left, one infantry unit in the center. Um, I have two ammo wagons on board right now. And uh, I don't have a clue how to get a sniper or an ammo wagon across a river. So, yeah, look how I struggle with this. Look, I mean, he just makes it look so easy. And I, I just always know I, it's agonizing for me. So I'm keeping it in the video so you can see how it's just dogged determination to get these guys across. Agonizing. So we're in no hurry. We just want to get these guys across the river and uh, kill his artillery. He did get a shot on my unit there. He killed two. He's shooting at my general, so that's fine. Meanwhile, my artillery is just blasting away at him. This is only going to end one way. Yeah, look, look, just <laughs> agonizing. Yeah, I think if I just change the angle, you just have to get one soldier on the ground on the other side. This is what I go through. I'm not going to show you all this. I just want to show you that if you struggle with this, it's just, yeah, I, I, I get it, man. I get it. Okay, and that this happened. Now I can't get the, the detached skirmisher to fall back in. So now I have to bring the guy back over to this side to get his detached skirmisher, which I do. I bring him back, merge in the detached skirmisher. The other side seems to be a little easier. I don't know. Okay, this is irritating. Uh, Hi Bob put his commander over there to take this shot. I can't get my commander across the water. I don't know how to do it. So we're just going to detach a skirmisher. His skirmishers are brutal uh, on legendary. They either have... I think they have Spencers. I think that because I capture a just a load of Spencers. Spencer carbines. Which is good, but while he's shooting at me with Spencer carbines, that is not good. So, yeah, this is in many ways a very frustrating battle because it's all wooded and, you know, it's hard to keep track of the enemy. And the enemy, uh, the, the other thing that happens to me is every time a unit can, can retreat in the wrong direction, it seems like the enemy does. It's, it's just absolutely agonizing. Um... I have to stop my attack and send two units to run somebody down and kill them, which normally I don't mind, but, you know, it's kind of like there are other things going on to send two guys to the far corner of the map to chase down somebody who got through um, and retreated in a weird direction. It doesn't happen once or twice. It happens a bunch of times here. So usually I'm pretty good at corralling the enemy into pockets, but... It, it just goes completely wrong um, in this battle. So that was really frustrating. And the, the enemy gets behind my line a bunch of times. He gets behind my line here. He's, uh, he's hard to corral. It's hard to see the map. So anyway, one of the things I did was I took the uh, Whitworth's without the scope, and I took them and um, perked them for not greater distance, but greater stealth, and that seemed to work really well. They did not get detected, and they did a very good job of spotting. So I think I'm going to keep going with that, keep using them for mostly spotting. They have a very, very high spotting number. Yeah, his artillery is dead. So I can move my artillery up. I, even my 20-pound parrots, I like to move them up into canister or exploding shell range when the enemy doesn't have artillery. So... Basically, just getting everybody into position. And the first thing you want to do is get... All of his cav to go into this pocket. 
that doesn't happen for me. It, it's, uh, yeah, it, the AI does not go into the pocket. I think one unit does, and the other ones don't. Which means then you have to fight them, and they have Spencer Carbines, and they just bleed you to death. So increases your casualties by quite a bit. So my plan was to fight with a bunch of three-star infantry for this first day because th this is just a really brutal fight and he has repeating weapons. Um, yeah, see here, I'm, I'm going to target with exploding shell this guy and hopefully he routes, which he does. Um, And now the map opens up, and um, yeah, I, I changed my mind on that. I, I had intended to take all my three-star units out of the battle um, entirely after the first day and have my two and one-star units fight, but he has all three-star infantry, and yeah, that just, like I tried it for five minutes and then reloaded and kept my three-star infantry. The, these three-star infantry hit very hard and they fight really well. Um, my two-star infantry, it, it was like they were throwing uh, cotton balls at the enemy. It just didn't work. There's a big difference between when these guys hit someone and when my two-star units hit someone. It just is a world of difference. And because he has all three-star infantry and well-armed, yeah, see, his cav is going the wrong way. His cav is supposed to, like, because he saw my infantry, he went for my infantry unit. So if I wanted him to not do that, I needed to have him further back. Now I'm screwed. I could have reloaded, I guess, because now it's going to be just very, very costly and very agonizing to kill his cav, and it's going to cost me. Um... Yeah, every time he fires, it's going to hurt. So I think I convince one unit to... Trying to convince him to go off to the right. I think he does. Yeah, one unit does. But the other two are going to just be a nightmare. Yeah, when the screen opened up, I wanted to get visibility here so his cav to the north would be near the flag. I don't think that happened. I think one of his cav units went off because he he comes back. I lose track of one of his units. I'm getting flanked by a unit I can't see. Yeah, these guys. These guys are yeah. They're terrible. Every time they fire, they do a lot of damage. Okay, I'm just getting these guys here into position. Just taking my time. I have tons of time in on day one and day two. Because I'm fighting with three-star infantry, they're inflicting such losses, um, both day one and day two, and significantly early. And... Um, yeah, unfortunately, day three ends significantly early because there is no enemy army on day three. So that's unfortunate. Because I was planning on, you know, walking my army for 10 hours and grinding stamina on my green units, but nope, denied. Yeah, these guys really hurt. I cannot... Like, you really feel it. He has two cav and two skirmishers, and even though he's hitting me in the woods, it's like I feel every shot. Okay, these guys are dead. I mean, my infantry hits really hard, too. And these guys probably have... Yeah, I screw up here. Um, the The unit to the... Yeah, the unit to the north there, that is a 
my one guy who has 1863s, and he's facing units that are going to inflict a lot of damage on him. So if I had to do it again, I would make sure my 63s stayed over in the center around the victory location, because those guys are just going to milk a bunch of kills and not take a lot of losses. Okay, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking three detached skirmishers and three infantry can take this. So we're going to go ahead and attack. There's more infantry coming in, but I don't need it. These guys can do this. We have an hour and 40 minutes. I, I could have waited, but I, I just, they, they, there, there's plenty there. Like I'm looking at this, the, the guys in the center are fine. These guys are going to pop this. That's fine. Uh, the guys in the north are going to kill the guys in the north easily. Like there's more than enough. Like look at the red bar compared to the blue bar. The only thing that is not going well is where he has his skirmishers and his cav, and that's just because he's inflicting a lot of losses on my units. So these guys are going to die. I just need him to not escape. And I don't want to push too hard because he'll go across the bridge, and I don't want him to go across the bridge. So these guys are now nicely corralled, so it's just a matter of pushing in and containing them in a little pocket. They'll start to flash white and... There's only, I think, one infantry in there. So, yeah, I'm looking at the limit of my firing range. I don't want to push on him so he starts to rout out of this pocket. I just want him to stay in the pocket and shoot at him. We have plenty of time, and we I'm not trying to get captures. I'm just trying to shoot and shoot and shoot and degrade and keep my losses down and grind experience. My army desperately needs experience. Yeah, I'm not trying to get captures, but we're going to get 26,000 captures out of this battle without trying to get captures. So um, we're going to get a lot of captures. Yep, everybody fire at somebody. Just everybody fire. Yeah, I'm looking at the strategic map. I have two infantry units that have come on, or actually it's two snipers. So my two snipers are going to get... Maybe I should have waited for those guys, because now we have an hour and 36 minutes. Maybe I should have waited for them. I could have used the additional spotting. Yep, we just want to make a pocket. Yeah, I'm looking at where my uh, three-star um, 1863s are, and he is getting hit right now. I can't see him, but he's getting hit by um, a very large skirmisher unit that's just inflicting losses on him. He's not any better an infantry unit than the other three-stars. I, when, I, when I merged all the three-stars together, then I merged in a bunch of two-stars that were close. Um they're all the same. They're all very, very good, but they're all the same. He just has better weapons. Okay, there's the first guy to surrender. Just everybody keep firing at somebody. When this guy surrenders, there's a risk that he'll drive everybody south, so I want to make sure that the enemy doesn't drive south, so get him out of there as quickly as possible. Okay, get my detached skirmishers across because he has more skirmishers. Yeah, get him out of there. Get everybody close enough to fire, but no closer. Make sure my artillery is hitting somebody. Yeah, these, these skirmisher units are just a nightmare. Three-star Spencer carbines. Absolute nightmare.
Okay, I do not want this guy to escape. Agonizing. So I'm going to have these two guys charge on him. And the last unit, if he retreats to the south, that should work fine because he's going to retreat right into canister and a fresh um, unit of 2,500 who will make short work of him. Yeah, these guys are doing... We have an hour and a half. There's no reason to actually be doing this um, this early, except I'm hoping to pull some of his units down from the north. Yeah, do not let that guy... Yes, he surrenders. Good. Okay, we get him. Um, his last unit, everybody hit him. Don't want him to escape either. Yeah, some of his cab, I think, has burn sides because I capture a bunch of those too. Yeah, I think that unit it has 20 pound parrots. So he's going to hit my detached skirmishers, and that's going to hurt. I'm telling you, these skirmisher units that I'm facing there, there are two of them or three, just um, brutal. Inflicting huge losses on my uh, units. Yeah, kill this last guy. Let's, let's get him. And then, with an hour and a half left, they can actually walk south and join this battle. Yeah, there's that unit, 600, almost 700. And he's hitting my best unit. Well, not my best unit, but my best weapons. Okay. My detached skirmishers are a little bit far forward, but if I can get a shot on that ar artillery and get it to stop firing, that would be good. Yeah, see these these guys now here, they're too far away to hit, so I have to move them forward. Everybody needs to shoot. When you have a bunch of three-star infantry, you just make sure everybody's shooting somebody. Uh, even in the woods, they're going to do good damage. I mean, if these guys were in the open, it'd be really brutal. Yeah, and he hit my 2,500 uh, three-star infantry and surrendered. So all the guys at that victory location have been captured, so I have them start moving, reattach their skirmisher, and start moving to join the battle in the south. We have over an hour. So you can see, like, my artillery is even gonna, I, I think I'm gonna get here to join this battle. Look at that, there's one detached skirmisher, one artillery, there's another very large, um, it's, it's sniper, it's a sniper. Um, yeah, I don't want these guys to get out of the pocket, so I'm going to have to have a couple guys fall back pretty soon. Okay, we hit his artillery. That's good. One problem solved. Yeah, everybody's close enough to fire, but no closer. Yeah, I have one um, sniper to the north trying to look for his skirmishers, trying to give me visibility of them. And I think he's giving me visibility, I think. Yeah, these guys, that guy's got to fall back. I think I do fall back. I do fall back with him, I think. Okay. He's starting to surrender. That's good.
Yeah, I think you don't want to take the flag here. So his position here collapsed a lot faster than I thought it would. And... I'm just having my units move in close and fire point blank. Try to get more of them to surrender. Two more surrendered. He recaptured him with his infantry, but then I got them all. Yeah, that... Look at that. Look how much damage he caused my unit. My unit's down to 2,000. I mean, I have it detached skirmisher but he killed 200 men ouch okay these guys in the south are toast now so yeah my sniper can get a shot on him some, the guys from the north, I'm having them walk. I'm not having them run. But I'm thinking they're going to get there, but they, they don't get there in time. My 20-pound parrot just gets to the victory location. I have one of my infantry units that was supposed to be part of this attack. There's 54 minutes left. By starting the attack early, look, he's just, he's just at the victory location. He's not going to... I mean, this is over. He walks to the battlefield and um, watches the victory and doesn't fire a shot. So... I would say um, it's very possible when you play this that he'll have a rogue cav unit or two just wandering around. So you will want to secure the victory locations with infantry and you'll want to secure your captures as well. So you don't want his you know, any rogue cab units going around and snagging up captured units and turning them back active so you have to fight them again. So yeah, send someone into charge. Yeah, look at that. That's He has a cab unit that snagged that victory location behind me. Yeah, I send a uh, infantry unit to capture the guy who caused me all those casualties. And these guys are, like, on the brink of retreating. So I decide I want to end this battle. Look, he has 647. That's a fresh cav unit. Rather than take the 42 minutes and let my units recover condition, I'm afraid of that cav unit, capturing units, so I go ahead and snag the victory locations and... It only cost me 20 minutes, I think, because there are 40 minutes left. There's a 20-minute countdown. Okay, only 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, almost all my units could have recovered condition back to, say, 80 or 90, even the ones in melee. So my units will be a little burned on condition. Yeah, we captured those last few guys. And I can see that it's just one cav unit. Okay, 13 minutes, so I lose 20 minutes. Anyway, that's day one. We lost less than 2,000 casualties. I guess, it, I guess that's a good day one result. We got everybody except for that one cav unit who somehow... Um, escaped, so yeah, um, three star units performed extremely well. The uh, the only thing is his units are good enough to inflict uh, losses. So I'm gonna reorganize the army a little bit. Yeah, that guy took too many. See, that's too many losses. These other guys though are in really good shape. Twenty four ninety three. That's what we want to see. Twenty four twenty three. Twenty four forty seven. That guy didn't come in, I guess. 
Oh, that's the guy who came in late. These guys did fine. And spotting is everything in this battle. Being able to see is just so important. So, yeah, day one went well, but I have to reorganize my army. And um, I'll see you for day two. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.